Hi everyone, MVC here, and today we're taking a quick and long overdue look at the MPX390 from Endgame Gear. It's 39 by 39 centimeters in size, comes flat packed, and features a Kodora type surface. All of that, coupled with its silicon base, ultimately brings it as close to a hard pad offering as you can get, while still being of the fabric variety. This means you get the faster mouse to pad experience you might be looking for, particularly if you lean toward heavier mice, and yet without any of the replacement mouse feet woes that would typically be associated. Plus, you don't need an arm sleeve as well, which is great. Now, this thing launched back in September 2020 and is actually a pad I mained for the better part of six months. Unfortunately, I found it a little too small for some of the games I play, such as Quake Live Race and Momentum Mod, so this video serves more as one of my yearly requests to end game gear to relaunch the service in a larger form factor even if that would mean sacrificing the best-in-class premium silicon base. However, depending on your sensitivity and playstyle, the MPX390 as it stands today could still very well be your endgame, but that's something you'll of course need to decide for yourself. Anyway, the MPX390 is perhaps the polar opposite of what I would typically lean towards in terms of surface speed. However, it's managed to achieve this without sacrificing many of the other properties that I'd usually look for in cloth pads like the Saturn Pro, and possibly their new EMC. Its surface speed is identical on both the X and Y axis, and the surface itself is much smoother than the majority of other Kodora offerings, and that's thanks to a relatively tight weave, including that of their very own MPC450, which is much more coarse. This has all resulted in a pad that allows me to accurately perform micro adjustments at range without introducing any of the stickiness that I often find with many faster surfaces that are either too tight and smooth or too loose and rough. I've also used this surface in more humid environments, in temperatures that push 33 degrees Celsius, and I found that its silicon base helped keep the pad relatively cool as well, which is very much appreciated, as that helps to prevent those dreaded sweaty palms. Another positive here with the use of Kodora is its dirt and water repellent properties, where I never found myself needing to throw it in the bath or shower, and just wiping it off with some water and a cloth made it both look and feel as good as new. If you do decide or need to give it that full detergent experience though, and that are some dirty gamers out there, I'm glad to report you won't need to spend an hour trying to make the water run clear once you're done thanks to that silicon base. So to summarize, the Endgame Gear MPX390 manages to combine the advantages of both soft and hard mouse pads. I know a lot of gamers out there are leaning towards soft bases at the moment, but there's certainly something to be said about those that are harder and how they offer a more consistent surface with no chance of DPI variation should you push your mouse in without a sensor ring. In all, it's an incredibly fun mouse pad to use though. Just note, if you are coming from a slower surface, I'd encourage you to prepare yourself to engage a level of discipline you might not otherwise be familiar with. By that I mean, I do think it's suitable for both tactical and arcade type shooters, so from CS to Apex and Quake, but you really need to force yourself to slow down because flicking your mouse around on this thing is so damn fun. Once you begin to drill in that approach to your brain though, you'll soon find that if the size of the MPX390 fits your playstyle, then it's a very much durable and long-term investment that you'll thoroughly enjoy, and it would be money well spent. For me, besides its size and overly large logo in the upper right, I don't really have anything negative to say about the pad. Perhaps its edge stitching could be a touch lower in a second revision, but as it stands today, the MPX390 is so close to perfection it's borderline frustrating. But anyway, that about wraps it up. I wanted to get this video out as I don't think there's any other pad quite like it on the market, and I think it has the potential to surprise a lot of you, particularly if you typically lean toward hard pads. If you've enjoyed the video, make sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, if you have any questions or comments, then leave them down below and I'll get back to you. If you yourself have tried the MPX390, then I'd love to hear your thoughts on it as well. But for now, take care, keep gaming, and I'll see you in the next video.